They've come, Grandfather. They... And who are they who so excite my daughter? My good friend Luke. Did you see him? Yes, Grandfather. And did he bring someone, a young man? Yes. Who is this mysterious young man? Oh, I see. It has something to do with the new religion. I wish you could understand why I became a Christian. It has brought me so much peace and happiness. It is all your doing. Since she was a child, you have tried to win my daughter's affection from me. No, that's not true. While she should have been at home under my guidance, she was with you on your journeys, visiting lands whose people have no understanding of our way of life. She heard you preach your stories of the Nazarene in their own barbarous tongues. Why is it wrong for me to know something of the world outside of this house? Why, Father? Because you do not know that which you were born to. You know other peoples, other creeds, even other languages better than your own. She is like a stranger in her own land. If you think I spend too much time with Deborah, don't blame her. I only wish to share her love with you, Aaron, my son. But for one thing, I make no apology. If I try to persuade strangers to follow Jesus, then why should I not persuade the one I love most in the world? time to tell you why I brought you here. I am ready, my lord. As to what I'm about to show you, I bind you to silence, because there are men who would move heaven and earth to destroy that which I have guarded for many, many years. You are very generous, my lord Joseph, to have such faith in a stranger. You are no stranger. I like you. Luke is sure of your skill. I am prepared to rely on your courage. And courage is important because there will be danger in what you are to do. In this box, is the cup from which Jesus drank on that last Passover Eve, saying as he gave it to his disciple, drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. This cup must be preserved for all time. I want you to design 
a silver chalice, a carved framework in which it can be set. Now comes the difficult part. Yes, my lord. On your chalice, you will carve the heads of Jesus and the men who were closest to him, so that all who live after us will know how they looked. Do I model them from life? Some. Others we will describe to you. There will be James and John, Peter, Philip. And you, Joseph. I am not worthy. If the man who took Jesus down from the cross and laid him in the sepulcher is not worthy, who then is? Deborah is right. I know this work is dear to the hearts of all of you. So I shall use all the skill that my gods have given me. I hope it will please your God. I'm sure it will. Come with me, Basil. I will show you to your workroom. I'm glad you're here, Basil. Deborah? Yes? That cup excited your adoration. Why? It's ordinary and like many others. It has no beauty of design. Did you not see the light around it? Light? No, I saw no light. 